Welcome to the FiberTight training video series. This video will provide instructions on the installation of a FiberTight inseam mechanically attached KEE membrane roof system. Let's get started talking about preparation and installation. Seaman Corporation mandates safety first in following safety precautions as required by federal, state, and local standards, as well as those required by your company. All stored materials are to be elevated off the roof or ground at a minimum of 3 inches and covered with a breathable tarpaulin. All materials are to be delivered on the job site in original, unopened containers with legible labels and in a sufficient quantity to allow for continuity of work. Select and operate material handling equipment in a safe manner, guarding against damage to existing construction or newly applied roofing. All new or re-roof applications require that the prepared substrate be smooth, dry, and free of debris and or any other irregularities prior to installing the mechanically attached roof system. Moving on to the roof insulation, it's important to install the insulation and coverboard over properly prepared and pre-approved substrates. When installing the insulation, the long dimension of the boards run in parallel alignment, and the short dimensions are staggered as shown here. Be sure the insulation is butted tightly, and not to leave more than a quarter inch gap at the joints. Cut out and replace any damaged corners with a 12 inch by 12 inch minimum insulation piece. When a coverboard and or multiple layers are installed, each layer will need to be offset from the previous layer, a minimum of 12 inches on center. This will provide a thermal break and the amount of thermal loss between the insulation will be minimized or reduced. Here, you'll see that the FTR value insulation is mechanically attached to the roof structure using FiberTight approved fastening plates and fasteners. The 3 inch stress plate and FTR number 14 HD fasteners are required and spaced 6 fasteners and stress plates per 4 foot by 8 foot insulation board and 4 per 4 foot by 4 foot board to meet Seaman Corporation warranty requirement. Perimeter and corner areas do not require an increase in the fastener density when the membrane is mechanically attached. It's important not to over or under torque fasteners, as this will affect the performance of the roof system. Rolls of fiber tight roofing system FTR membrane, are to be positioned and installed straight and snug but not taut. The properly positioned membrane will be attached using FTR Magnum fasteners and FTR Magnum stress plates installed through the membrane and insulation assembly and engage the structural decking. The fiber tight membrane rolls include a control line for overlap and markings spaced 6 inches on center to help with fastener placement. FiberTight is uniquely constructed not only to provide confidence in the watertight integrity of the welded area, but also a superior strength to the welded areas of the membrane. Proper welding techniques allow heat to penetrate to the fiber and essentially lock the welds down. To begin, perform test welds to ensure proper tip alignment, heat setting, and speed of thermal unit before starting field welding. The optimum weld will exhibit a characteristic unique to fiber tight. When the weld is stripped, the fibers actually shred, breaking the yarn that knits them together, opposed to coating separation from the fibers. Be aware that the changes in weather and air temperature may require a change in temperature or speed of the automatic welder. You'll see here all finished seams will exhibit a homogeneous bond a minimum of 1.5 inches in width. Checking actual field welds can be accomplished by removing a nominal one and a half inch section of the weld and doing a T-peel. Once the hand welder is verified to have achieved the optimum weld, start the final seam weld at the stop start point of the auto welder. Weld the back interior edge of the membrane with a thin, continuous weld. This will concentrate the heat along the exterior edge of the lap during the final welding pass. Now that the membrane is installed and the field seams are welded, you can move to the flashings. Be sure to flash all curbs, parapets, interior walls, pipes, vents, conduit, tubes, and stacks in strict accordance with approved fiber tight details. 
All of these details require additional membrane securement at the base of the angle change, utilizing the FTR magnum plate and fastener per specification, and or the FTR aluminum termination restraint bar fastened with approved fasteners 8 inches on center. Upon completion of the installation, remove any and all debris, excess materials and scrap of any kind from the roof and surrounding premises prior to demobilization. Inspect all field welds, detailing and terminations to ensure a 100% watertight installation. For more information on the complete warranty process, contact FiberTight Technical Services or your local sales representative.